March Madness in the States, and that's sure to generate a couple of NBA players out of the tournament, but most of those players are never going to set foot on an NBA court. That doesn't mean, however, that they're done playing professional basketball. Many of them, like two players here in aix les France, Errol Bing and Wayne Chisholm, are going to continue playing basketball in their quest to get to the NBA, but as well to learn a little bit about themselves while living abroad. Wayne Chisholm and Errol Bing are both on the same team, ex morien but they're on opposite ends of the basketball playing lifestyle. Errol has been playing professionally for nearly a decade and is winding down his career, while Wayne is still looking for that golden ticket to the NBA. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Wayne Chisholm, uh, Jackson, Tennessee. Went to the University of Tennessee. I'm Errol Bing. I'm from Largo, Florida. I moved over to Tampa about 20 minutes away. I went to East Carolina University. But they find themselves together in the crossroads of ex lebane France, playing in the French second division. While the play is very competitive, they're a long way from the NBA. It would appear that they're playing in the high school gym. But in actuality, they're playing in the high school gym. There are cheerleaders, but they're not about to take the place of the Lakers girls. They sell team gear, but this is the only merchandise table, and business is not brisk. One big difference you'll notice when you're looking at the crowd is hardly anyone is wearing the team's colors. But the fans in X are incredibly supportive. So we're winding it down here. X has a 12-point lead, but if you'll notice... Okay. Everybody is standing in the last minute, and nobody's leaving. But they're not that knowledgeable. In fact, while I was watching the crowd enter, I asked nearly a hundred people who their favorite player was, and only one fan could answer. Uh, alors, qui c'est votre joueur préféré dans l'équipe? Uh, Simon Darmoza. Et pourquoi? Parce qu'il joue le même poste que moi. Et c'est? Le meilleur du jeu. Excellent. Et vous, est-ce que vous connaissez les Américaines? Ouais, Wilbur Brown, Wayne Chisholm et Roll Bing. Et comment vous trouvez les Américains cette année Bah, Wilbur Brown, c'est un gros scoreur. Mais Roll Bing, bah, meilleur rebondeur de la ligue, il est énorme. Et euh, Chisholm, il progresse et il apporte vachement son expérience euh, du jeu américain. Et il est clutch. But on the court, this is big boy basketball played by seasoned professionals. About 20 years ago, I went to a French professional game. I thought I could get on the court and play. Not anymore. This is serious professional basketball. And while their colleagues playing in the NBA are buying houses and cars, the life here in X is much simpler. What, what's your living situation like here in X? I have an apartment right in the middle of downtown. Uh, single bedroom, single bathroom. You know, it's a nice place. It's a beautiful single guy. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a nice quarter. It's a little bit smaller than, you know, things at home, but mm -hmm. it works for you. Cool. What's your living situation here in X? Uh, same, small apartment, um, one bedroom, one apartment. So I just pretty much leave, sleep in my front room. So I just try to keep it in one area. Uh, but it's just downtown and square, so it's pretty much a nice spot. But even these contracts are not easy to land, and many players simply can't handle the pressure. Ex coach Antoine Michon calls Errol Bing a survivor and a role model for younger players. And on voit, moi je sais aussi que les joueurs qui durent sont les joueurs qui sont autonomes. C'est-à-dire que ce qu'ils font ici, je sais qu'ils vont le refaire euh, ailleurs, euh, ils vont arriver en Espagne, euh, ben, ils vont manger de la paella euh, plus que du, du, de la potée, et, mais ils vont quand même avoir le même fonctionnement d'autonomie, euh, voilà. et après ils, ils vont s'intégrer facilement. L'intégration, c'est la, la règle. Et puis euh, les joueurs aussi, les joueurs américains, il faut passer, il euh, y a un cas, parce que tous les joueurs américains espéraient jouer en NBA puis euh, avec des contrats à 200 000 dollars, puis dans les meilleures équipes. D'un seul coup, on se retrouve euh, à aix morienne dans un contexte très différent, il faut l'accepter. Et quand on l'accepte, on peut faire une très belle carrière. Les Américains font des très belles carrières euh, professionnelles ici en France aussi. And that integration is no small feat when you listen to the list of places these pros have played. So you've been, uh, you've been here in aix les for how long? One year. One I've year. been in Limoges, France. I'm sure everybody knows Limoges. I was in Dijon two years ago. I did two and a half years in Claremont as well. And I've done 
two and a half years in Switzerland, and I did uh, six months, or excuse me, six weeks in Uruguay, and four months in Austria. All right, so again, where are some of the places you played? I uh, played in the D League in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, I played in Hungary, and I played in Antalya, Turkey, and now I'm in France. What was Turkey like? It was a great experience my first year out, uh, especially right on the B side of Antalya, so I enjoyed the first time coming out. And learning your profession in a different language is never easy. Je crois que dans le basket professionnel, les entraîneurs parlent quasiment plus anglais en fait. Hein. On, on s'exprime plus en anglais. Moi, ce que j'aime bien faire, c'est m'exprimer en anglais, mais au milieu de la saison, commencer à, à, à faire partir un peu l'anglais pour, pour finalement terminer l'année en parlant euh, quasiment français tout le temps. Alors, euh, bah, par exemple, c'est le cas un petit peu avec euh, les Américains de cette année-là, euh, hein, puisque je, Errol Bing, donc, est un joueur un peu plus expérimenté, qui lui comprend le français et le parle d'ailleurs, hein, et le parle. Et Wayne Chisholm, qui, qui est quelqu'un, un jeune joueur qui est euh, différent, hein, puisque bon, il a passé un an en Hongrie, mais qui arrive de Tennessee, hein, de la fac de Tennessee, mais qui lui, aujourd'hui, ne parle pas français, mais je pense le comprend à euh, soit de mon basket. Oh, voilà. And while Wayne Chisholm is looking at this phase as a stepping stone. You're young, so you're still looking at getting an NBA contract or at least another D-League contract to make yourself. How do you promote yourself when you're playing over here? It's about, it's, it's mental, it's mental. You got to keep playing and playing hard and got to be very, very consistent. And you got to stay consistent in this league because you're playing one game a week. And it's very, very hard to be very consistent in this league, but unless you have the ball in your hands a lot or you that guy on that team, then it's okay. But sometimes you're a role player on some teams and you gotta play your role on the teams and it helps the team win. Errol Bing, while still playing at a very high level, has paved the way for a successful future. How is this experience of living abroad gonna help you with your post-career and what do you think you're gonna do? Well, I'm still looking. I recently finished my, my MBA. Last, uh, last September, and uh, I'm looking into human resource management, uh, management information systems areas like database administrators, things like that. And one thing that'll help me here is being able to deal with different personality types in a management role, where I can lead a group of people and understand how to manage each individual person and help them work together, you know, to promote the uh, growth of whatever business it may be, um, or achieving a goal or whatever that may be. Also, I think that I understand different business structures, you know what I mean? This is basketball as a business, you know what I mean? Either you, you produce or you're done. And I think that's another thing that I've learned in, to, uh, I think that'll help me more, is my, it's, it's, it's a business, and learning and understanding how a business operates. But according to Coach Michon, success stories like Errol Bing are becoming more and more rare. The point that I wanted to address is that for 15 years, I think that the American players, young, have changed, enormously changed. Et euh, c'est lié à une culture générale. Les Américains, comme Errol Bing, sont en voie de disparition. On retrouve des gens qui n'ont pas été formés euh, complètement en basket. Et humainement, ça devient plus difficile. Leur intégration sera plus difficile. Alors, est-ce que c'est une question de génération Je ne sais pas. Mais en tout cas, je sais que et le niveau universitaire américain, pour moi aussi, est en train de baisser en termes de qualité. Puisqu'on voit des gens arriver de conférences, avoir du mal en basket aujourd'hui, ça veut dire que le niveau général, c'est pas le niveau de tous les joueurs, le niveau général a baissé et le niveau d'éducation aussi, euh, et dans l'éducation il y a la capacité de s'intégrer, je pense que ça aussi c'est très difficile, ça, ça deviendra de plus en plus difficile. March Madness is in the rear view mirror for these two Americans, but basketball, wherever that might be, will always be part of their future.